In today's episode, Show Me Go X fans are treated with collaborative effort between Aaron Waltrip and Scott Poole of the American Ghost Project. The two travel to historic Cairo, the southernmost city in the great state of Illinois, nestled quietly between the mighty Mississippi and Ohio rivers. This commercial property had once stood proud in the business district of historic Cairo, Illinois. Most assuredly has a colorful past, from mob violence to racial strife. Cairo seems to have been ripped up from her roots. But just like the beautiful people that call Cairo home, they refuse to give up. Join these two explorers and the local population as we dive deeper into Cairo's historic past. Aaron. Yeah. Coming. Okay. So did you say this was, that was the theater or this was the theater? This is the theater right here. Oh, okay. I'm not stepping on any uh, poison ivy, am I? Uh, three, okay. let it be, five, you're fine. Five, looks like five leaf to me. Okay. Where's your mask? I don't have one and I forgot it. They're back in the ambulance. I don't care. There's the theater seats. Yeah. Have you been in here yet? I will wait for you. Place is neat. These are sliders. Dude, this is an elevator. Right on. Oh, <laughs> dude. Desks flipped upside down. As we sift through the debris of forgotten relics, an unknown voice is captured on my camera. I believe the voice is saying I was there. Listen closely and comment down below if you agree, or perhaps you hear something different. really quiet in here there's a huge door back here a door yeah this was the door that's blocked up off the front it's like it, i'm gonna have to backtrack to that one i noticed the floor Changes texture. Oh, that's that's not that's not creepy at all. Hmm. Nope. Not creepy at all. December 1998. 
This guy's just using this building for storage, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, what do you need with all this stuff? There's a bunch of mirrors back here. I can make my way back here. Stuff in here from the Chamber of Commerce. I'm not messing around with any wasps. Someone's been in here recently. Oh, nice. As Aaron peers into a lonely room with a solitary chair, an unknown voice can be heard. I believe it's a man with a foreign accent saying Oswald. And again, if you hear something different, feel free to drop us a line in the comments below. God. Holy sh Whoa. Whew. Oh God. Cool. What are you doing? Ooh. Why are you doing that to yourself? Wow. It's just stuff. Look at all this stuff. It's a bathroom. Ooh, there's a church pew. This old Mountain Dew. Yeah, you have to film 1995. <laughs> year I graduated. I got the shower in the next room. Wow. That is very out of place. Whoa. The couch has ashtrays. Look here, folks. Are you serious? Yeah, it's painted shut, but yeah. There's an ashtray built into the couch. <laughs> wow. Okay. I want to see how, what your reaction is. Onward and upward. Huh. No, no, downward and onward. Downward and onward? Downward and onward. Ooh. Ooh. You'll see. I'm excited. I want to see what you, you want to do with, about that. Ooh. Um, all right, folks. This is definitely a strange room. And it goes down. So guess where I'm going? Yep. This would have been where I thought we would have been going. Oh God, we've been going upstairs. Oh, it stinks. What does that smell? Water. <coughs> Golly. And what about this door? Aaron, Aaron, what? look at me. God put that door there. We're not supposed to open it. There's a reason. I'm trying not to hit you in the face with the lights. <laughs> if 
I had to imagine, folks, this is probably where I would say the boiler once sat, judging by the look of everything. But that's that in this part. Okay. Since we had explored all of the first floor, and since the elevator's out, we decided to take the stairs. What happens next is, is pretty awesome. Listen closely. Did you catch that? So I'm walking up the stairs, right? Aaron's at the base of the stairs in front of the elevator and I'm walking up the stairs to the second floor. And there's this banging sound, door wobbling on its hinges. I'm not really sure what it is. All that I know is I didn't run into anything and Aaron's standing completely still. Let me know in the comments down below what you all think that it is. Listen again closely. Go the stairs. No, nope. it's always worth a shot. Whoa. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go first. I don't either. <laughs> wow. The floor feels sound, but I guess we're, we're gonna find out. This place is really, really trying to come down. It did. Wasps, watch it. Groovy. Flying right at you. That's it. Right. It was right in my camera. Wow. Gotta get up to get down. Coffee milk stout. Huh. Never heard of that. Every once in a while, you know, we run into graffiti that is not very friendly. Oh boy. This place is something else. I still haven't really figured out what it is. Those books? Order of the Elks, Benevolent and Protective, 1977, July 10th through 14th. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to avoid going over there. That just doesn't, that's not very appealing. <laughs> Yeah, 
this elevator has been removed. Oh, maybe not. There's another floor. Good grief. This floor is... Hey. Well, hello there. Two bats. Just enjoying themselves, living their lives. What was that? Upon arriving on the second floor, Aaron rounds the corner and it doesn't take very long for him to notice a couple of the local inhabitants of this old hotel. He greets them in a casual way, but if you notice something or someone said, hey, back, turn up your headphones and listen closely. Well, hello there. Two bats. Well, hello there. Two bats. Well, hello there. Two bats. Normally when you hear that kind of a sound in an abandoned building, you get out. But I'm just not really bothered by much. That light has seen better days. <laughs> Some kind of little stage. Good morning, class. Aaron. Did that sound like did that sound like a truck pulled up in front of the building? Oh my goodness, are you serious? Thanks. Hey, you can't go to the roof. Why not? The stairs are rusted out. Okay. I just let you know. I'll check it out. See. Well. You know I'm curious. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. We'll see. I'll check it out just to see. Well. As you know, I'm curious. All right, so there's a lot going on in, in between these two clips. So at first you get what my camera recorded, and then we cut over to Aaron's Samsung S21 Ultra. And as he and I are having a, a conversation about whether or not we should traverse to the roof of the hotel, and there's a growl, then it sounds like an Australian is saying, I'll see ya. And then right after that, another man asks very faintly, where are you? Again, I've boosted the audio as much as I possibly can. Put on some headphones, relax, listen closely. Okay. We'll see. I'll check it out just to see. Well, as you know, I'm curious. Okay. We'll see. I'll check it out just to see. Well, as you know, I'm curious. Listen, listen. Did you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Do you think somebody's in the building with us? Um, I don't know. I heard a bang earlier, but I thought that was me. Okay. <laughs> well, the other, the other's not me. What was this place? Part of me wants to say a school, but it doesn't. Dude, the the doors. Look at the doors. Look how wide the doors yeah. are. Look. What is this all about? Like, was this for handicapped people? I'm not really sure, but the doors are massive. Someone put that up there, huh? My name is Scott Poole with the American Ghost Project. I got my buddy here, Aaron, with me. We don't mean you any harm, whatever spirits still linger in this place. My buddy is um, a paranormal investigator and he is having a look to see what he can find. So with us both doing this, you're really kind of getting the, the best of both worlds. Look at that, how the vines are growing in. That's crazy.
slowing down the footage to review what just happened. I finally took a moment to address the spirits that could be remaining in the building. Interestingly enough, right after that, Aaron peels off to the right into a room by himself. As he is looking down a ventilation shaft, he pauses and we get a voice. Clear as day. I walk past him into the room in front of us and there are three footsteps. It kind of sounds like someone ran out of the room once I walked in. Listen closely, leave a comment down below and tell us what you think that it is. I'll play the footage from Aaron's camera and you'll note that the three taps are not captured on his microphone. Listen closely. My buddy is um, a paranormal investigator and he is having a look to see what he can find. So with us both doing this, you're really kind of getting the, the best of both worlds. Look at that, how the vines are growing in. That's crazy. Any harm, whatever spirit's still in this place. So we got, I'm gonna go in and check this out. My buddy is um, a paranormal investigator and he is having a look to see what he can find. So with us both doing this, you're really kind of getting the, the best of both worlds. Oh. What was this? What was this? What were you? What's this little door for?
Wow. We finally make our way to the third floor, taking our time and just being in this space and being a part of its history. Aaron tapers off to the right, I'm not far behind, and enters the first room on his right, and then enters a room with a solemn, lonely chair, a lot like the one downstairs. And then as he enters the last room and pans from left to right to the window, there's some kind of light anomaly that manifests itself on the right-hand side of the wall and then disappears as if it's lost its energy. Now, at the same time this light anomaly appears, on the right-hand side, falling downward, it sounds like dogs barking and then a man asking, where are you going? As if someone is being chased. It's a moment frozen in time because I assure you on this side of town there are very few people outside and there is no one outside the building at this moment leave a comment down below and let me know what you all think listen and watch closely Look at this. <laughs> what? Dude, what is this? I don't I don't understand some of this. I don't know. Interesting. It's the window. You know what, man? Some parts of this just... Oh, look at the ashtrays. No way. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. There are ashtrays well, everywhere. They're built into the window, so you can just ash right out the, out the, out the window. It's That was louder than I had hoped. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you make some more noise? Right. Whoa. Hey, it's got a skylight. It's a lot of, it's a lot of natural lighting in this room, Aaron. Yeah. So I was wrong, folks. Here it is. The elevator is here. Let me try it out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Damn. gonna call that I'm gonna call it this is gonna be the end of the airbags because the only way up is here and it is a pretty vicious spill this concludes our first paranormal urban exploration of this beautiful building in Cairo, Illinois. From Scott Poole and the American Ghost Project and Aaron Waltrip of Show Me Go Explore, we'll see you next time. Have you been in here yet? I will wait for you. My glass, my lens. Everybody, this is Aaron. Aaron Waltrip, Show Me Go Explore. Go over to Show Me Go Explore uh, on Facebook and give him some love. He's a good guy. Uh, except when he's near playgrounds and then he's a predator. Ha 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 ha!